Ah, good morning, whatever it is around where you live. Um, off my walk, simple as normal, it's a bridge behind me. Um, I should point out, a bit of a warning, this is probably going to run three parts. Uh, for no other good reason, I need to get a damn good whinge at somebody. It's been about a month since I did one of these walks. Um, quick recap for those who haven't watched this before, which is not many of you, I don't think. Uh, <coughs> a long time ago, I mentioned, in passing, you know, just to clarify me and what sort of person I am and why sometimes I'll do things, that um, I'm both bipolar and I suffer from severe depression. Now, normally, you'll see me anywhere from happy smiley Wayne and hopefully um, mildly entertaining. Uh, to Grumpy Wayne, who would quite happily blow up the entire planet, but, you know, it was normally pretty okay. Uh, which can also, in a way, when I look back at them, be quite funny. What you don't see is days like today, when the depression is kicking in very badly. Um, my mood swings are all over the place. Um, I'm on mood swings every five minutes, so I'm not trying to keep that in check. And really, when I get like this, and this is where a lot of people are going to, are going to start screaming at YouTube, at me, um, where you just really do not see the point in continuing with anything. And yeah, I do mean that. It's not. I'm, this is not some emo bullshit, right? Um, I'm trying to, in a way, for what what it's worth, trying to make it a little bit more acceptable. There's a lot of people out there, on the inside of the 3D industry and outside of it, they have issues of depression, uh, you know, sleep problems, etc., etc. Um, no, I'm clinical, so I'm, you know, I'm used to it. But some people aren't and it can cause issues. So what I'm saying is, look, it's okay to be you. No matter how odd and fucked up that you may be. Now, I'm a pretty fucked up individual. I'm the first person to admit that. Um, days at a day, I just, you just wanna, I wanna press the magic button I have and delete every site and everything that's there and delete my entire presence online. Why is that? I haven't got a fucking clue. Um, I know some of the reasons. Now, I know some of you know that I've been probably ill lately um, with this viral infection that's still not left. Uh, I had to have a tooth out that got infected, so I went through more pain. There's a rabbit down there looking at me. He's off. <laughs> I was going to show you. Um, I don't know who the mad person is. So I had all that on my plate. I've had stuff to do. Well, I wind up the freelance stuff. I had to. Um, you know, do stuff for Project 2813. Now, that's all gone concert mode now, so that's effectively me done for God knows how long now. So, effectively, I killed all that freelance work I had coming in for absolutely fuck all. Can't say I'm overly happy about that. And uh, that's contributed. So, I ended up went from hero to zero on the financial scale. Uh, we came within, literally, and I'm not joking, six seconds of the house being repossessed. That's how bad things got. Um, and I just, you know, I didn't know where to turn or what to do. So I decided there's only one thing you can do in a certain place like that. You shut everything down and you sort the problem out, which is what I did. Um, it's left its mark, you know, up here because I had to push myself f further and harder than I've ever done before. Now I'm also doing a lot of stuff for uh, something you'll see pretty soon ish. It's to do something for Autodesk. And, um, so far I've done. Over the past month and a half, about 100 and odd sculpts. Um, of that, you'll probably see about 70 or something, or something from them. I can't go into too many details, but it will be worth it, trust me. Uh, something you're not going to have to pay for, right? Which is good. At least good for everybody else. Um, on top of that, it's. I realised that I've got to a stage in my career where I've got this name, right? There's this mythical Wayne Robson character. Lens dirty. It is. Wait a minute, I'll have to clean it and we jump off. Yep, definitely dirty. Right, hopefully you can see me a bit better now. Yep, that looks fine. Um I've got this there's this mythical Wayne Robson character that's been around mud box since virtually day one, right? I've got at times the order's coming to me and asking about my opinion on stuff, which is a bit fucking surreal. Um I have to admit. I'm still just the guy who lives in the middle of the countryside, right? The guy who can't get a decent 3G fucking connection, you know? This is the guy who's stuck on a one meg line and a 256k upload. That's me, right? That's what I, that's, you know. But part of me says, well, I worry, right? That has, has all this been for nothing? Is this as far as I get? 
right? And a lot of people will say, well, look, uh, do you not think that's enough? Well, I'm a person that always aims for the top, aim for the sky, right? right aim for up there. And uh, the nearer you get, the better it is. Not everybody manages that. Um, I haven't for most of my career. I've had to battle for everything I've had. Uh, and I start wondering, is it fucking worth it? Have I done what I set out to do? You know, does that mean that it's time to call it a day? And to be honest, and this is not some weird, oh Wayne, please don't stop, don't stop doing 3D. That's not what I want, right? Because that won't be a blind bit of difference to me. If I ever do come to the point where I make up my mind absolutely that I've had enough, there's not one person alive will be able to change my mind, right? At the moment, I'm in that horrible little limbo. I'm also intelligent enough to realise that most of this is a depression kicking in, um, so I'm ignoring it for the moment. Uh, it also does bring a side effect in that uh, when I'm sculpting, it's either very strange stuff, right? Or the concept's just oggish crap, right? There's, there's no middle ground for me. Um, so it's it has a knock on effect. On top of this, uh, some idiot uh, managed to delete 75% of the videos for the on-demand stream. Uh, now the whole system service I use, I change that password twice a week, right? For that very reason. They are not easy passwords to remember. They're not easy passwords to guess. In fact, you couldn't guess them if you tried. But, um, you know, there are times when uh, when that happens. Now, those videos are in full HD vids, right? So, you're talking files nearly a gig and over, right? Just to upload it, and on my connection, that takes days. When I started doing the on-demand stream, it was actually Chris from 3D Palace, it was his idea. He's like, mate, look when it's quiet, which it was at the time, right? He says, if you do this, keeps your hand in, keeps everybody happy, you know, you got some stuff there, it might bring a few a bit of money in, which it actually it doesn't bring that much money in, but it makes about 30 you know, quid a month, it's an out, right? Um, just thought I'd add that bit. Cost me money, actually more money to sort this out than I get from it, but so the point my own fault. Um, and I realised, that's great as long as everything's going fine, and as long as you have the time. When you don't have the time, suddenly life gets fucking complex. Uh, then you find you haven't got the time to actually record the video and upload it. And of course I believe in not just going through the motions, but making sure that the concepts in it behind each video are things that people are going to find usable. Well, I see it is if you're paying me, or a company, or a site that I own, your hard-earned dosh. That does not mean that I'm going to take the piss, right? Our responsibility. Uh, so the first thing I did was ask everybody on the stream to suspend their payments. Went to the hosting company who hosts these videos, special video hosting company, and um, I've had one reply. I can't get any further reply from them until I do. I don't know where I stand, where I stand with that. Now I could start re-uploading them again, but there's no guarantee that whoever got in couldn't do it again. Uh, according to the hosting company, these videos never existed, which you know. It's, it, they admitted then that they did exist, but they're not quite sure what happened. Then it was like, well, we're pretty sure that somebody's managed to get in your account. Have you given your passwords? Oh yeah, I'm full of those fucking daft tricks. You know, um, so what's the future of the stream? You know something, I'm gonna fucking clue. I'll tell you what the options are. Option number one, I put my pig-headed head on, like Wurzel Gummidge. Uh, Yanks will understand that reference. Um, and say, fuck it, and just keep on keep them videos going up, as no matter what. Uh, which will eventually take over every waking fucking moment. Much like, you know, 30 or 60 quid a fucking month. Um, two, I suspend the stream until I find a decent uh, video host that can guarantee me this won't happen again. Three, I stop the stream altogether. That's it. Right? You say, look, I tried, some dickweed, tried this, end of. But that sort of lets them win. Or, option what? Four. Four or is it three? Four. Um, basically, see, right? End of stream. No more free, you know, paid stream, make it all free. But then I get straight back into this whole mouse wheel of the free shit, right? That's what time it is. Um, I really do not fucking know what to do for the best. See, if I could make these videos available for free, um, I would. But the length of these videos means I can't. And so far, no one is prepared to host all these videos in HD for free. No one. And I have asked. 
Um, and I'm all about personal sites. There's no way that something like this is going on somebody's personal site, right? Uh, something of this, and I hate to say it, but this importance uh, as these lessons need to go somewhere that's got a bit of a name. And most of them companies are not prepared to take the financial hit that it would take to host these videos. Right, we're going to go to part two now. Yep, see you in a minute.